Today, I will show you how to create this text glitch effect. At first, it might seem complicated, but it's actually very simple to make. For more tutorials, make sure to subscribe and without further ado, let's get started. First, we will find the title that we like and add it to the timeline. We will cut 3 seconds out of it and remove the other part. Now, let's extend our timeline. Double click on the text and go to advance. First, let's write something. Let's say error. And we will choose another font. The font you should use have bigger bold letters. Also, let's increase the size. We will keep it at 105. After that, go to animation and remove the animation. Make sure the text is placed in the middle and press OK. Next, copy the text, lock the first layer and paste on top of it. Let's unlock the first layer, click on it again, and go to advance. Now, change the text from white to black. After that, press OK. Now, cut at 2 seconds. So, let's cut and go to transition. The transition we are looking for is deposit up. Add on the first part of the second layer, so it should last 2 seconds. So the effect is coming to life little by little. But we can do way more. So next, we will export this video. Let's title it second layer. And let's make it 30 frames per second. After that, delete this and import that clip back. So here we have it. Let's set our clip first. Click match to media and add the text on top. Let's remove the other part of our clip. Now, click on the second layer. Go to Compositing and change the Blending Mode to Lighten. Next, cut at 2 seconds. So, select the second layer and cut. We also need to cut between 113 And one, two, four. So here, next, go to effects. And we will add the sideways shake to the first one. The second and the third. Don't touch the last one. Now, go to distortion and add the chromatic aberration to the second one. Under that, you will find the flip. Add that to the second one too. So you can see how it looks. Click on the second part. Go to the end and to video effects. Lower the chromatic aberration a little. Now, all you have to do is add the chromatic aberration to the third part and you are almost done. First, we will go to frame and add some frames to it.
and we will also use the preset for our clip so this looks nice finally we will add the glitch sound effect I will leave the link below so you can use it place it on the end you are all done so let's see how it looks